Hello everyone and welcome to my channel Science Query. I am your host Dr. Asha and in this video I am going to talk about what is a chemical reaction. Have you ever wondered what happens if a milk is left at room temperature during summer or what happens to fruits when they are kept in the open or when an iron nail is exposed to a humid environment. In all the cases the property of the substance change like milk gets sour due to oxidation reaction and growth of microorganisms. The fruits get fermented when they are kept in the open for a long period of time. And iron goes through rusting when exposed to a humid environment. So we can conclude that something is happening to the substances which changes their properties and these activities indicate that some type of chemical reaction is occurring in them. So whether a chemical reaction takes place or not can be understood by the following points. Change in state, change in color, evolution of a gas or change in temperature. Therefore on the basis of following points we can define a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction is a process when two or more molecules interact to form a new product or products. Next is how to write a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction can be written in the form of chemical equations. A chemical equation is the symbolic representations of chemical reactions where reactant and the products are expressed in the term of their respective chemical formulae. Now let us describe this thing with the example of the reaction of magnesium and oxygen. When magnesium strip reacts with oxygen, it gets converted into magnesium oxide. We can describe this sentence in a simple equation format like magnesium plus oxygen is equal to magnesium oxide. The magnesium and oxygen on the left hand side are known as the reactants and the magnesium oxide that is on the right hand side is known as the product. But the chemical equations are even shorter than the above and are more precise. Hence the equation which is written down in red color is the chemical equation for the reaction of magnesium and oxygen. Here the symbol for magnesium is Mg and the symbol for oxygen is O. Thus magnesium reacts with oxygen to give magnesium oxide. Next we are going to learn how to balance a chemical equation or a chemical reaction. A chemical reaction should always be balanced on both the side. As we all know the law of conservation of mass that is mass can never be created nor destroyed. Hence the reactant and the product in a chemical reaction should always has to be equal mass on both the side. So the next step after writing a chemical reaction is how to balance the chemical reaction. Let us understand how to balance a chemical reaction with the help of zinc and sulfuric acid reaction. The symbol for zinc is Zn and the symbol for sulfuric acid is H2SO4. Zinc reacts with H2SO4 to form zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas that is ZnSO4 and H2 gas. Here zinc and sulfuric acid are the reactants and are in the left hand side of the equation and zinc sulfate and hydrogen gas are the products and are the right hand side of the equation. Here the elements zinc, hydrogen, sulfur and oxygen are present in the reaction. Now the number of atoms in the reactants that is the left hand side of the equation are zinc 1, hydrogen 2, sulfur 1 and oxygen 4. Number of atoms in product that is in the right hand side are zinc 1, hydrogen 2, sulfur 1 and oxygen again 4. Total number of atoms in the reactant of the left hand sides are 8 and the total number of atom in the products of the right hand side are again 8. Therefore this equation is balanced as both the side have 8, 8 atoms each. Now let us take another example to understand how to balance a chemical equation. Here the hydrogen gas reacts with chlorine to form hydrogen chloride. The hydrogen and the chlorine elements are known as the reactants 
and they are present on the left hand side of the equation. And the hydrogen chloride that is known as the product is present on the right hand side of the equation. The chemical formula of this reaction is H2 plus Cl2 equal to HCl. Now let us calculate the number of atoms present in the left hand side and the right hand side of this equation. Here two elements hydrogen and chlorine are present. Number of atoms that is present in hydrogen in the left hand side is 2 and the number of atoms that is present in chlorine in the left hand side is again 2. So we need 2 atoms on the right hand side also. Therefore we will put a 2 in front of the HCl that is hydrogen chloride. Now the number of atoms in both the side of the equation are equal. Therefore we can say that the equation is balanced. Now next see another example of how to balance the chemical reaction of iron and water. Here the element iron reacts with water to form iron oxide and hydrogen gas. The elements iron and water are known as reactant. They are present on the left hand side of the equation. The iron oxide plus hydrogen gas are the products and they are on the right hand side of the equation. Symbol of iron is Fe, water is H2O, iron oxide is Fe3O4 and hydrogen gas is H2. And the equation of this reaction is Fe plus H2O is equal to Fe3O4 plus H2. Next we have to balance the equation. As we can see the number of atoms in the left hand side are iron 1, oxygen 1 and hydrogen is having 2 atoms. And the number of atoms in the right hand side are iron is having 3, oxygen having 4 and hydrogen is having 2 atoms. Total in the left hand side is 4 atom and in right hand side there are total 9 atoms. So the equation is therefore not yet balanced. To balance the equation we have to balance the number of atoms of each element. Like iron has one atom in the left hand side and three atom in right hand side. So we have to add three atom in iron in the left hand side. Now the iron is balanced in this equation. Now let's see the next atom that is the oxygen atom. The oxygen on the left hand side is having one atom and the oxygen on the right hand side is having 4 atom. To balance this equation we have to add a number 4 or we have to add 4 in front of the water molecule so that the oxygen in the left hand side become 4. The hydrogen atom in the left hand side was initially 2 but when we add 4 in front of water molecule the hydrogen atom now become 4 multiplied by 2 that is 8. Now we have to balance this 8 number of atom on the right hand side of the equation also. So we have to add 4 number in front of the hydrogen gas so that the number of hydrogen atom in hydrogen gas become 8. Now the equation is all balanced. The iron atom, the iron element on the left hand side and right hand side now become both 3, oxygen become both 4 and hydrogen on both the side now become 8. Now the new total becomes 15 on the left hand side and 15 atoms on the right hand side also. Now the equation is balanced. Beside balancing the equation, we also have to write the state of the elements or the compound which are taking part in the reaction. Like in this reaction, iron which is taking part in the reaction is solid, water is in the gaseous form here, iron oxide is again in the solid form and hydrogen gas is in the gaseous form or gaseous state. So that is all about chemical reactions and how to balance a chemical equation. If you like my video then please subscribe my channel Science Query and please like, share and comment. Thank you.